Hello there, I am Giant Rodel, and today I'm unboxing this little baby. It's the Elgato Game Capture HD 60S 3.0 USB. This will also be a review too. So here's the box, in front of it has the capture card itself, and on the back, just has the capture software. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, you can see my face in the flexion, that's kind of funny. Yeah. So yeah, um, on the side it just says, it doesn't have much on the side besides that. And then has game capture uh, H60 right there. So it's, it comes in um some plastic wrapping. And I'm trying not to knock over my microphone by mistake. Ah, jeez, okay. So uh, let's just open this thing up, I guess. Let's get the other plastic first. So let me do this. I'm slowly making my way through it. Yeah, there we go. Nice. There we go. See on the back, it's compatible with Windows uh, 10 and Mac right there. Has little specs right there. So here's the box. Um, let's see where's that? Maybe at the bring it to here, I guess. Yeah, there we go. It opens like that. Yeah. Let me just take the box out. Oh, I didn't mean to hit the microphone there. Yeah, that's okay. Um, here's the thing it comes in. So I can open another box. Um, just has some information right here. H60, how to hook it up and stuff, which I already know how to. And then, yeah, up in the box right here, it looks like this is the um, USB cable. See, for now, so it has a little blue right there, as you see right there. I don't know where you can see it, but it's right there. Okay. Um, let's get stuff in this one. So here's what the USB cable looks like. I think it's maybe like three feet, it looks like, but we can see in a second actually. Hopefully I'm right. Close at least. Okay, take it the switch tie. There we go, there's one twist tie. Then they have another one right here. Kind of funny. Double. That makes sense because it's a long cable. Um let me see here. This cable looks around, like here's one side of it, the USB port right here, and then here's the part you plug it into the capture card, which is right here. Um, it looks like, by inspection, it's around 3 feet, so that's cool. Um, oh yeah, the Elgato is right here, nice. It just says Elgato right here, and then H60. It's pretty small. I wasn't expecting it to be this small, but here's my old Elgato, the, just the regular Elgato um, Game Capture HD. You can see my cam going in the function, cool. Um, but, and then here is the one I just unboxed, the Ingato HD60S. And side by side, they look like they're the same size, really, except for, you know, this one's more curved, this one's more rectangular, I guess you could say. More shiny with that gloss finish. And then this one has, like, not much of a gloss finish. So, yeah. The back of the regular Ingato looks like this. It has little rubber things for the, um, for putting on like, a desk or something. And then it has um, AVN for um, component and composite for that part. And then the HDMI in is right here. The HDMI out is right here on the other side. And then it's USB. Well, the H60S, it looks like um, it just says um, uh, HDMI out. And on the other side, it's uh, I think this is where you can put in a microphone right here, like a 3.5 millimeter jack microphone, which we might actually because I have a 3.5 millimeter jack microphone, so that's cool. Um, the in with the HDMI in, and then the USB port is like right here, I believe. So like for example, I just take the cable, and I um just put it in like this, I guess it goes in like that, it just goes in right there, nice and snug, it doesn't feel loose or anything really, nice and snug like I said before, so that's cool. Um, what else do they have in the box here? Uh, I think they give you an HDMI cable, which I think is this, so yeah. Um, Looks like about two feet, honestly. I don't know. Let's open this thing up. Okay, cool. And here's the guy got the twist tie here. Okay. And uh, this cable looks like here's a HDMI on one side, HDMI on the other right here. Um, it looks like it's two feet, honestly. Maybe three, two and a half, three feet, honestly. I don't. I'm about guessing length of the cord for some reason. But yeah, there's that. 
So again, um, we can use it to, uh, to give us another HDMI cable. It's kind of nice. So HDMI, it doesn't really matter because it's just plugging the HDMI out. Just see right here. There we go. Let's plug it in right here. Okay, let's upside down. So no, it's this way. Okay. So it goes in like that. It's nice to snug like I said before with the um, USB cable. Yeah, that's that. Um, we got the little Elgato booklet here. Oh, it's like a little booklet, yeah. Lots of information. I don't really read it, but it's just there for you. Um, back in the box. Let's see, it's okay, yeah. Um, it gives us, they give us a sticker for the Elgato look. Um, now I think for the software, for recording stuff, we have to go to, um, you have to go to like the website Elgato and download it yourself. See the cool sticker. <laughs> Um, although I do have, um, Game Capture HD, uh, software with my very good Elgato. I don't know if I have to download the one for the HD60S, so I probably have to do that, honestly. But yeah. Um, I haven't tried out this product yet, but we're gonna flip over to my computer and see what it looks like on the computer. I'll just pan over to that, okay. And yeah. So I'll see you guys when I get to my computer. Okay, so here I am at my computer. Um, I got the software. I downloaded it from, for the Elgato HD60, as you see right there. So this game capture HD60S right there, and um, what's cool about this being a 3.0, it's my only 3.0 uh, USB port right here, and then here's the setup of the um, you know the HDMI in and out, and then the USB cable. It's pretty simple. I have a little battery as you can see right there on this controller, but um, like here's the screen, here's my controller right here. So if I press like right, see like it doesn't have any button delay on the preview, and here's what it looks like on the TV right here. You know, looks pretty cool. But as I was saying, I don't have any button on the preview, uh, any delay on the preview, which is nice. So you can go right, 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 right. And there's like no delay really. There's like six frames delay, I guess you could say. Because that's what's in the description of where I bought this capture card. So that's really cool because when I'm in my dad's in my guest bedroom, there's not an HDTV, so I can just record up my laptop screen and uh, still be able to record and stuff. So that's pretty cool. I haven't used an HDTV, so I thought it was pretty nice. And also, if you press A, under this one hand, like A, B, A, B, A, B. See, like, there's like little to no delay, so that's awesome. The power of 3.0 um, USB ports, I guess you could say, because that's awesome. Nice. So, yeah, it's really nice. I do like this capture card. I would give it a 10 out of 10, honestly, because I like this capture card a lot. I'm having enough fun using it. I can finally record in 1080p 60 frames per second, even though I rendered out in 60 frames per second usually. Uh, for Pokemon Crystal and for my stuff I use OBS to record with, I use um, 60 frames per second, but for my Elgato, I can use, um, I had to record at 30 FPS um, and at 1080p, because I wanted to do 1080p 30 FPS instead of 720p 60 FPS, 720p 60 FPS, but that's okay. Now I can record in 1080p 60 FPS, which is awesome. Yeah, so I'm really happy with this capture card. So that's the end of this review and unboxing and all, uh, unboxing and review of the Elgato Game Capture HD 60S. And I recommend this to a friend. I recommend to anyone who's thinking about buying it. Again, there's like no delay on the preview window. I'll show one more time. So if I go like that, yeah, it looks pretty cool. So yeah, I like that a lot. So yeah, this has been Dranko again. I would like to just give goodbye and up to see you guys in the next part of my. So yes, this has been Dranko again. I would like to give goodbye. I hope to see you guys in my next video.